I'm Matthew Lippincott from Public Laboratory, and um, I am going to do some testing at the laser cutting station I work for formaldehyde. Uh, ever since uh, Nick Shapiro posted his DIY formaldehyde testing kit, I've been really interested in the formaldehyde levels in the workspaces I'm in. And since our office in Portland actually had uh, 26 parts per billion, or about three times uh, safe respirable levels for long-term exposure for formaldehyde, I thought I'd check out the space where I do laser cutting. So behind me is a uh, laser cutter, which people use to cut a lot of things like this, which is a bamboo laminate or plywood laminate, um, many of which contain formaldehyde. So this, uh, this laser cutter also is not vented externally. Uh, below the cutter itself is a filter system. So uh, I'm interested to see what the levels look like, and I thought I'd walk through the testing procedure. So I have our DIY formaldehyde testing kit out here and uh, ready to go. And I have to get a tube ready. So I'm going to use this tube breaker I made, stick the tip in and break it over the trash so that I don't get glass anywhere. So now that the tips are cleanly broken, I'm going to insert it with the arrow headed down into our uh, pump and uh, get things going. So now uh, this is going to run for 30 minutes and uh, at the end of that period of time we will check the levels. All right, so it's been a half hour. There's a laser cutter job that's been running the whole time in the background, so this is what operational conditions would have been like. Uh, and I apologize for the noise. Let's take a look at the tube. Looks like it's stained down to about 50 parts per billion. We then have to uh, adjust that for the temperature factor. It's 25 degrees Celsius in here. So we want 85% of that uh, 50 parts per billion. Another workspace tested, another unsafe workspace I spend a lot of time in. Um, 